there was this episode, I, God, I forget what year it was, where it was where the Armenian soldier in was oh, was, yeah. he in, was in, he in Hungary who was yeah. murdered by yeah. Could, do you, are you familiar with that story? Sure. Um, could you kind of recount it a little bit? And yeah, I can't remember. I think it was two thousand and four, but I couldn't. I couldn't yeah, swear. Right. It. Yeah, there there was a. Um, yeah, I think this was a particularly horrible story, which I think tells you just uh, how much hatred has been instilled in in the younger generation um, on both sides of the conflict, but particularly in Azerbaijan, the losing side of the conflict. So there was a a NATO training English training course in in Hungary, where they had officers from all over the place learning English, and there was an Armenian. A um, couple of Armenian officers there, and an Azerbaijani, and the and the Azerbaijani alleged that the Armenians had been um, taunting him, teasing him, um, and anyway, one night this uh, Azerbaijani, who was clearly uh, a bit mentally unstable, uh, this Azerbaijani who was a bit uh, mentally unstable, um, who'd also been brought up to hate Armenians, uh, got an axe and broke into the room of one of the Armenians and murdered the Armenian officer. So it was a pretty horrible incident. He was obviously arrested. Uh, he was sent to jail in Budapest for this murder. Uh, and the story kind of gets worse because um, he served out a, a few years in a Hungarian jail and, that, and a very shady deal was done whereby he was extradited, quote unquote, back to Azerbaijan, um, and the Hungarians alleged that there was a there was an agreement that he would he would go to jail in Azerbaijan. But of course, as soon as he got off the plane, he was pardoned. Uh, and more than that, he was greeted by some people in Azerbaijan uh, as a hero. He was given um, a pension and an apartment. So suddenly, uh, this guy, whose only claim to fame in the world was that he'd um, murdered an Armenian with an axe, w was actually being rewarded by people in Azerbaijan for what he'd done. And of course, that leaves a very bad taste in the mouth and, 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 and just shows you how poisonous this conflict has become just down to that level uh, of, of horror which is being perpetuated when someone um, gets free and is, and is welcomed back in Azerbaijan even though he's a murderer.